So last episode, we chopped oaks for around 10 hours with a bronze axe to get ourselves 57 woodcutting to unlock the Waka Canoe transportation method to get us to the wilderness as it is part of wilderness content. Of course, after the 57 woodcutting levels, I realized thugs drop a steel axe at an uncommon rate and it would have sped up the process so much, but I still need to get 60 woodcutting so I can chop the yew trees in the wilderness resource area. So just to get the grind over with, we went right back to the oak tree and just slammed out 60 woodcutting. Man, the people you meet in the wilderness, this guy thinks I'm scouting on this world and he thinks I'm bringing my main account to kill my green dragons. Just look at him. Until I can enter the God Wars Wilderness Dungeon, I'm just going to kill every imp I see so I can get a ball of wool to make my first amulets once I eventually lamp 5 crafting in the next 30 years, because apparently I just don't get any genies. Before I move on and kill some more Slayer monsters to get that Slayer level up, I am going to go sell what I got from the Lava Dragons earlier, just so I can obtain some cash and buy more runes. We're going to be doing this a lot throughout the series until we can find a sustainable way to bring income into the account. Yeah, we only got 8.8k, kind of a depressing amount, but uh, we will be able to get more through steel plate bodies. We have a lot of casts to use on Lava Dragons. We need to finish 44 Prayer and upgrade our Horde gear. They are a really good way of training Prayer, plus they do have some very nice drops that I still don't have in my hands. No, this is already the second time this has happened. I hopped Worlds to make sure that a fresh Lava Dragon would be here, but twice they've already been hit by someone. We didn't hit any of the armor upgrades or the rune axe, and yeah, we did die, but it's not too big of a deal. Because it is peak time on the game, I'm gonna have to disregard lava dragons right now for training prayer. I'm just gonna have to resort to picking up big bones in the boneyard and then using them at the altar. This is actually a really, really good way of training prayer because it is completely free, not really risking anything either. Alright, so we got more than halfway to the next level just off that one inventory. Pretty good RNG on the bones, I would say. So we're gonna have to go do this. I think it's gonna be three more trips before, and we're getting killed. But that's actually fine, because again, not risking anything. Oh, there it is, 43 prayer. Protect from melee unlocked, such a big level. We can avoid so much damage flicking now because all these random skeletons and monsters have just been hitting me down and it just burns food way too quick. But the next goal is gonna be Eagle Eye. So let's quickly bang that out. And then we'll have pretty much every prayer I need except for Mystic Might, done. Man, the Runelight plugin is, is just something else. Like, how is this even in the game? And there we go. 44 Prayer. The only level we have left to get is Mystic Might, but I won't get it for now. Just gonna leave it. Moving on forward, let's talk about how I'm gonna have to train my range level in the very early stages of the skill. Currently, the only method of training range is using a short bow or a bronze crossbow until I'm able to unlock the bigger range items. This would include the rune crossbow from the crazy archaeologist, the magic shortbow from the spiritual ranger which does require 63 slayer, and of course the crossbow from the revenant caves, that being the best and the rarest drop which we are going to use for bosses in the future. So until I'm able to either get the magic shortbow or rune crossbow, I'm going to have to loot bronze arrows off the ground and use my shortbow. By the bears here in around 11 wilderness, you can get 16 a world, so we're going to be hopping many many times. Oh my god, it's been so long, but that is 2,000 bronze arrows picked up from the ground here. So uh, yeah, if you want to do the math on how many times that's a world top, just divide that by 16. But yeah, if we ever want to train range in the future, now we have a nice little supply of bronze arrows to get us started. In the middle of the last episode, we got a 55 revenants task from Crystillia, but I never decided to do it in that episode because this was before I trained the woodcutting to use the Waka Canoe. So every time we die, it's not as annoying to get back. All we're going to be doing is Lava Battle Staff bashing these imps down. Revenants this early into the account will just be only done on imps because I will not be able to get any other kills. Wow, we actually got a drop. Six Onyx Bull Tips. I did not expect to get one. They're just so unlikely from imps because they are the easiest to kill. So it would make sense that they give the worst chance of getting loot. But they actually alk for 600 each. So not a bad drop. These things actually protect over my Steel Axe. So I'm just going to go to the bank real quick just so I don't lose that. Wait, that's actually a really, really handy drop. Revenant Cave Teleport. That is actually sick. Actually, we can't high alk it, but hey, it's a teleport we can use in the wilderness. Yeah, every time we get a drop, we're just going to bank because it's so rare to get one. Revenant task completed. Took a while because we died quite often, but now we are going to get 106 Greater Demons. That is so good. There are two really nice upgrades for me at Greater Demons. 
and if we can land one in 106 kills, which is pretty probable, that would be absolutely swell. Now, at first, I was like, maybe we could range these and get some early range levels on them, since they will be super AFK. So I spent a lot of time at Dark Wizards till I got around 24 range. And after making my way through the Lava Maze down to the Greater Demons in the dungeon, I realized it was just a terrible idea. I would have to go through so many bronze arrows, it would just end up being a waste. But I did stay there for like around 10-ish kills, I believe. Got myself up to 30 range, and then I just decided that I'm just going to mage them instead. The one problem is we don't have the funds, so we got to get that cash money through some steel plate legs. Another 1,300 fire strikes should get us very far into the task. Man, that, I like literally the one drop I wanted. Let's freaking go. Runeful Helm acquired. Wait, Greater Demons are nuts. Mithril Kite Shield's coming in as well. We were using a bronze square. No, just show me some Addy Plate Legs, not the Myth Kite again. Although we can alk that for 1.3k, so I'll definitely take it. All right, so I accidentally just screwed up the safe spot, I guess. Luckily, I didn't die to a player, so we can just go grab our stuff. Plus, I'm just going to bank the rune full anyways. 59 magic. We just unlock fire blast. It is going to be the best spell we can use before we unlock god spells, as I won't be using the wave spells because I need to save blood runes to get the god cape. Ran out of runes again. 13 demons left. Before I back, I'm just going to fill my inventory and looting bag with steel plate bodies so that we do have more cash for the future. Yeah, this should get us a lot of runes, like every time we ever come back here, I think I'm just going to grab a steel plates. And there is five wilderness tasks in a row. We finally get points for doing Slayer, which unlocks the Slayer shop, which has so many good items for the future. Like for range, we can use broad bolts and broad arrows, but we are going to have to save these points and use them wisely. More steel plate body looting content. Crystallia, why? Why 75 revenants? This is such a good task for later stages of the game in my account, but it's like we're just gonna have to bash imps for like an hour or two now. Like we always do have a chance of getting something extremely rare, but it is just so unlikely from the imps. And on top of that, we're gonna die a million times. One million and one, one million and two, one million and three, one million and four. I don't know if I laugh or cry. I, I, I do I laugh or cry? Bro, I just got here. Wait a minute. Did I just get something from these? Three battle staves. It's actually a really nice drop. It's gonna be like 24k in Alex. Uh, I did not expect that. We're just gonna run out of here before we freaking lose everything. Am I dreaming? We just got a revenant bracelet. Please, please get me out of here. Ow, fuck. Yeah, we actually did get a revenant bracelet. Shout out to this absolute Chad. Tiny triceps. Wanted to be in the vid? You're in the vid. Actually done. Sandwich lady coming in for all my effort. The monitor in front of me will not be in front of me if I get a revenant task, please. Yes, thank you. That's actually, wait, I just realized I'm gonna have to bring something up, boys. So I haven't talked about smithing yet because I've never really had to do it, but it will be very handy in the future. A lot of people might've wondered, for example, why don't you just make iron knives? There's iron ore in the wilderness and a furnace. Make iron bars, take it to the anvil, and you're good. Or even for bronze knives, why wouldn't I just do this? Well, the hard truth is that the only way to train smithing is by getting bronze bars, which is dropped from one specific monster, the skeletons. People have been saying this is a 1 in 32 drop, but I think it's much more rare than that. I did a whole Slayer task of ranging skeletons, and I didn't get one. Now, this might have been because they only dropped from the level 22 skeletons. Turns out they only drop from the level 45 ones in the Edgeville dungeon. I went to Ultimate Iron Man Verf's Twitch channel, and thanks to someone in his chat, we found out that they are indeed droppable from these skeletons, but they are very rare. It's an uncommon drop. That is a 1 in 64 chance. Because each bronze bar will generate 12.5 smithing EXP, we're gonna have to get 193 of these bad boys to get 15 smithing. Now, if we finish the five crafting grind through lamps, we can start using it towards smithing, which will speed up the process. But when you do the math, a one in 64 chance means that it's gonna be around 12.5 thousand level 45 skeletons. Assuming we have average mid 70 melee stats, we should be able to see 90 kills an hour, which means that this would take 100 and 40 hours. Every skeleton task we will do on these from now on so that we can slowly 
but surely make our way to that 15 smithing to unlock the skill. It's going to help us make ammunition for range and boost our total level so we can enter some high total skill worlds, which means that there will be less PKers there and we will be safer. We're at 75 points now. We're going to get another task here. Unfortunately, we got no emblem from that whole task and we have 68 spiders coming up next. These are going to be nice. They're actually safe spotable in the Edgeville dungeon, although they drop nothing. It's still a pretty AFK task. As always, we're just going to have to flick Prey Melee for the 15 minute Diagro timer so that we don't have to worry about them killing us while we AFK. Oh my god, so good. A 1 in 137 chance. I believe that is the third mysterious emblem we have seen. Very nice. We'll be able to get some more Mystic now. A nice even 100 points with the 8th Wilderness task in the bag. I have gone and collected some red spider eggs just because they do spawn here and I'm going to need every bit of herb lore exp I can get. So when I start making stat restore potions at 22 herb, I'm just going to use these anyways. Please give me something just, you know, something good. Yes, 142 fire giants. Let's freaking go. We can finally start the grind for the rune scimitar. Oh my god, this is such a good task. We're going to trade our emblem in here and we're going to pick ourselves up some mystic boots. The only other boots that are useful in the wilderness are dragon boots from spiritual mages at 83 mage. So this is a huge item that we're probably going to be wearing for a very long time. I'm going to end this one here, guys. Got a huge task coming up for next episode and a rather interesting agility grind that will be very long. So hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. If you are enjoying the series, be sure to slap down a like. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell if you haven't already. Until next time, have a good one, guys.